Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Terraform Homestead. We are continuing on our Earth Bag Cistern project this week. We are building a water tank out of Earth from our property for under $3,000 that will give us the opportunity to be fully self-sufficient out here in our desert homestead. So with that, let's get into this build. Good morning, everybody. Back out here, another day of the cistern build. And first thing I gotta do this morning is some maintenance on our cement mixer. So what's funny is we have gone through three of these Harbor Freight cement mixers. This one is still our first one. So we've had two other die before this one died. I'm gonna try and keep it alive. We're having some issues with the belt slipping off. Um, I got a new belt that didn't seem to help. So what I'm going to try and do today is undo this and actually drill these holes down a little bit um, so that way we can get a little bit tighter on the belt. This mixer, I don't know why it was designed this way, but adjusting anything in it is a nightmare, but I can't complain too much because for 200 bucks, it has done this house, our pit over there, everything here, everything on our pump house, that entire house, like little tiny house, it's done, it's done a lot of work. We have a mixer back up and running. Time to get to more bags. For those of you who are new to our channel or to earth building in general, I want to kind of run you through our Hyper Adobe process. We have a full video of Hyper Adobe versus earth bag building and why I personally like Hyper Adobe as my preferred building method out here in the desert. So when we first moved to the property pretty early on, we had this hole dug out. The idea, this is still a to be determined project, but the idea was the main home would go here. The more important thing is we got a lot more dirt to work with on our property and our builds. So my favorite thing about Hyper Adobe is that the bags are very inexpensive for what they are. Our little Hyper Adobe home over that way was about a roll and a half, so maybe $600 worth of bags. And then for the most part, we can just use our native soil, native materials. Once this building is complete, it will easily last hundreds and hundreds of years with very little maintenance. It is well insulated, it is structurally sound, and they are just amazing for these desert climates. That's why I like Hyper Adobe. We end up using two parts of our native soil that we sift and one part cement sand with a little bit of water, stick it in the bag, tamp it down, and move on. So if you want to get access to the bags that we use, I will leave a link in the description below. We are wrapping up day five on this build. It's two days to get the hole all dug out and prepped, and then two days to get the foundation in. And then today we started upwards, which is exciting. We two and a half courses done. These 12 inch bags are gonna be real interesting to be bagging over or stay walking on <laughs> while we're bagging. Uh, but you can see right here we got our inlet pipe. So this will get connected to our pump up here eventually. And I kind of made it up higher so that way I could really get under there with the plaster work. And then basically we'll just put like a 45 and a 45 to get it to as low as we can. This whole thing is sloped just a little bit towards this corner so that way we can drain out as much water as possible before it goes dry. But another couple build days and we'll be at ground level, which is very exciting. And then just up to our gutter over there. <laughs> we got it. Day six, or bag work. Let's get to it.
we're at the end of the day. We had one bucket die and then immediately put a new bucket on and it died immediately. So we're switching to metal buckets now. All right, bucket number three. <laughs> we switched to the metal buckets. You sacrificed a good one. All right, we're wrapping up day six on this now. It is coming right along. We've got a box. So we're maybe close to two feet up. I think we've got about another seven and a half feet to go. So uh, probably like 12 more build days. So the next step in our build pulls this little laser level. Should stop moving here soon. I'll show you guys what we're doing. So we are doing a wet system over here, which basically means we have water that will be coming into this tank first. So that's our first flush tank. So basically all the dust and dirt and bird poop that gets on the roof between rains will end up in here. That will overflow, come up to here and then overflow and then come underground with this pipe that we buried and then come up here. So this is gonna determine the height of our cistern because we need that to be at least a couple inches, probably four or five inches lower than the inlet over here. So basically the water pressure will push it underground over and then into our little cistern. So uh, we have our laser level out so that way I can get a perfect mark. So this mark here is going to be our, basically from the roof here. So that'll be the top and then I can mark a couple inches down over on our inlet. It's pretty wiggly. I don't really know why, but we're gonna come probably six inches down from that line. Thank you guys for joining us this week on this cistern build. It is coming along so well and so, so quickly. That is the beautiful thing about Hyper Adobe is that the walls go up so quick and they are going to last for hundreds and hundreds of years. If you want to see more of this build as it comes out week by week, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. And if you wanna see more earth bag type buildings that we have done on our little homestead, I've got two videos queued up for you right now. Be sure to go check those out. Thank you guys for watching and go build something cool.